we read an article um, that Brit Marling, I don't know if Brit Marling wrote that, I think she wrote that. And she was asking herself about the structure of uh, an orgasm, like a masculine orgasm. And she said, right, that uh, it's like tension, climax and release. And that's normally how it works with a three axis structure. And she was asking herself, how would it work with a feminine orgasm? It was re really challenging to chase for that answer. And there are examples of movies that don't have the structure, of course, there are plenty of them. And that was also interesting to study somehow. And also the circular um, structures, for instance, right? Or the ones that maybe you have a climax at the beginning of the movie. Like we start with a very heavy scene and like the sex scene where it ends up in a conflict. And we say like, why not? Because some people t told us, wait, keep this scene for, for maybe the second act. And we were like, why? It's here. It's gonna stay here now.